going on everybody welcome back to my channel this is the review for last night's episode of black ink crew this is season 5 episode 14 team bonding okay before we get into the review if you have not done so already please remember to subscribe to my channel hit the notification button let me know what you think about this video with a thumbs up or a thumbs down and share this video get it out to the people bless the rest of the world y'all come on now so the episode starts off with Ryan and Rachel there in New York for New York fashion week and her nail polish Paranova is being featured on New York's um, runway for Fashion Week. I would love to be able to go to New York for New York Fashion Week. That seemed like it's just fun as hell. Get dressed up, pretend to be one of the girls from Sex in the City and just walk around New York just being fucking fabulous, going to fashion shows and shit. I, ooh, I would really be feeling that. But anyways, they at the dinner and um, Rachel asked him, you know, how's everything going with the new NIMAG and the old NIMAG? And he's saying that, you know, when he left that shop up to, um, what's Scoop Ball's head? Van. When he left the shop up to Van, he thought that, you know, it was going to be out of his hands. He wasn't going to have to worry about nothing. But oh no, sir, you still are over every doggone thing. So you still need to have your monkey ass there to oversee stuff. Because, of course, what was it, like a week or so before that, um, what they were showing on the show, Charmaine and Don came to Ryan, they were like, look, Don, I mean, not Don, Van is running this shop into the ground. It's toe up from the flow up, beat up from the feet up. We need you to step in and to do some help. You know, help, help, help a nigga out. You know what I'm saying? Because we ain't got no water up in here. We ain't got no heat up in here. We ain't got no stools for the couch up in here. We ain't got nothing up in here. They got nothing. They ain't got shit up in there. So Ryan's Suggest, um, suggestion is that he hires Don to be the co-manager, right? Which we all know Van couldn't run that shop by himself any doggone way. Van ain't got no kind of custom service skills, much less no managerial skills. He can only manage gorillas, and that's it. And he was doing a good job managing the gorillas, but an actual business business? Nah, that ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work. So he's hoping that with this new change, he can, you know, the shop can do what the hell it's supposed to do and he can focus on the new nine mag, right? And um, he's basically saying, if this shit don't work, I'm taking all of this shit from everybody and chunk the deuce to everybody. All these niggas is out because I'm tired of it. I'm sick of it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. He also says that um, Don and Gina are supposed to be getting together to schedule a team building vacation out in Miami. He's going to join the team later, of course, because he's out there in New York with Rachel. And, of course, he invites Rachel to come. And you know, don't nobody like Rachel. Don't nobody like Rachel. I like Rachel. I, I think she's due. She's got a certain bitchiness to her that I just respect. I don't know. I'm a bit of a bitch myself, and I don't know if from one bitch to another, I can just appreciate her level of bitchness. I got you, sis. I got you. But anyways, she's like, well, you know, once they see me, they're going to be like, oh, hell, here she go. But um, I'll go because it's a free trip to Miami. <laughs> bitch, you ain't stupid. But as long as ain't no drama, I ain't all this, you know, yada, yada, whoop the whoop going on. Ron is like, nah, it ain't going to be none of that. We're going to be good. We're going to be straight. We ain't got time to be listening to nobody arguing and all of that. If they get to doing that old hot mess, hot shit, we finna get the hell on up out of there. She like, cool, cool, bang, bang. Bam, Miami, baby. Yes. Van Four and Don, um, they are headed to the airport to head out to fly to Miami. And let me tell you, I love when the three of them hang out together because they are goofy as hell. They goofy as hell and they were just saying basically how they excited to get out of town because it was in chicago you know they was in chicago and i, I guess it's cold as shit in chicago i've only been in the airport in chicago and it was cold as shit in the airport so i can't imagine actually being out there in that hulk of chicago you need a jacket from chicago for chicago weather and like um Van was saying, I can only imagine. He was like, it's like the the wind. Just get your ass, bitch, get your ass over here. I will kill you. I don't know cold like that. I'm from Texas. I'm from Austin, Texas, to be exact. We shut shit down when it gets <laughs> when it gets like in the 20s. A hey, work shut down, school shut down. Don't let it be no ice on the road, nigga. Everything is shut down. The, ain't, ain't nothing open but Jack in the Box and Walgreens and hospitals. That's the only thing that's open when it's freezing cold and it's icing and wet on the road. We from Texas, baby. We don't play that shit. We some punks. Uh-uh. Bella and Lily ass. <laughs> 
These dodos. They on their way to the hospital. I mean, not the hospital. They on their way to the airport as well. They getting ready to fly out. Bella said that um, Van must have got a wild hair up his ass. He called and apologized to her, and they showed apologies. He did, it seemed like a sincere apology. I'm proud of you, Scoop Ball. You did something nice. So he invited her, or Ryan, it's Ryan shit, which is really Big Fish production shit, which is really VH1 shit, invited her out to Miami with the rest of the crew. Danielle and Charmaine. I mean, I guess Charmaine is coming, but why is Danielle coming? Why is she here, Ike? Why is she here? Ryan hooked them up with a dope-ass spot out there in Miami, baby. Let me tell you, it's nice as hell. Big. It looked like it's like three stories big. Everybody going through looking for their room and shit. Of course, the niggas want to get them. Because Don, um, Four, and Van, they make it there first. So, of course, these niggas is going around and claiming their rooms. Don get the biggest room. You ain't got nobody with you, which didn't nobody else bring nobody with them neither, but this nigga got the biggest damn room with the jacuzzi tub in there. Nigga, who you fooling? You already know Ron gonna come and he gonna have a whole BF bitch fit if he don't get the room that he want. Don't do that man like that. Don't do dark and lovely like that. Uh-uh. On a side note, I know these niggas is getting some some good checks from um from this little old show. I'm gonna need them to invest in some CarMax. Or some bliss stacks. Maybe that's what it is. Because they out there in Chicago. But the whiteness of the dryness of their lips. Between Van. No, no, no. Well, I've seen Van was a little chap too. But Don and Ford. Get your life. Get your... Get your glossy life, baby. Do something. I know y'all getting checks off this shit. Do an endorsement with CarMax. I bet you. I bet you. CarMax. Holla at them, or you holla at CarMax and them, and CarMax and them, y'all need to do some, some, yeah, they need some moisturization on the lip thing, or some Blistex or something, something. Y'all, they at the pool, back over there at the house, Lily trying to flirt with Jet, he's one of the tattoo artists from the new 9 Mag, L I mean, not Lily, girl, Bella, Bella ass, Bella trying to flirt with Jet, right? Girl, you okay? You ever see when when somebody try to flirt and they just look so awkward doing it that you feel uncomfortable watching the shit, but you just can't turn away because it's like, look at this, look, la, 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 la. that's what it was like. She was really trying to be cute, but she already erased her shape, so she was trying to like bend over in front of him and asking him to help take her pants off. Girl, stop it, stop it, stop it. So as she's doing this, right? She kind of like bends over to do something. As she gets back up, her dumb ass accidentally undoes the bottom of her bikini. This nigga had to tell her, hey, Bella, your pussy falling out, girl. She like, oh. Which I don't know. She probably did the shit herself. I don't know. But Bella, Bella's a mess. <laughs> Bella's a hot ass mess. God damn, she a goddamn mess. So they all in the house talking or whatever the after they, you know, in the pool. They all in the house talking. And so, Jet and, um, of course, Charmaine keeps bringing up this old 9 mag. I miss the old 9 mag, yada, yada, yada. Bitch, we ain't in the old 9 mag no more. It is the old 9 mag, but it's the new 9 mag. And so, Jet, he want to get in the middle of the conversation and make conversation for what? What he even opened his mouth for. He going to say, but the thing about it is... People come from all over, around the world, every way. They know that they're going to go to the old 9 Mac and they're going to see Charmaine. They're going to see Don. They're going to see Van. But if they want a real tattoo, they know to come over to the new 9 Mac. Why you have to say that for? Man, Lily started going in. Charmaine started going in. And this is where Charmaine's voice annoys the fuck out of me. And I love me some Charmaine. I do. I really do love Charmaine. But it's just a lot of her tendencies that make you... Like, you can only deal with her in small doses. I'm sure they can only deal with her in small doses. Because I can only deal with her in small doses. That's once a week on my TV screen. But that's neither here nor there. But... Why he make that comment? Because that pissed everybody off. Everybody started to go in on his ass, basically. Don trying to break it up. Because Don was understanding what he was saying. But, you know, he trying to, you know, not... Because they weren't getting into it. But they was very loud. So, Don burps. His burp basically clears out the whole motherfucking room. So, like he said, I got him to stop arguing. 
they up in the house chilling or whatever. Lily tries to apologize to Charmaine, right? So shit was going good. You know, basically Lily's like, look, Charmaine, I just want to apologize. You can take it or you can leave it. But you know, that's as sensitive as Lily's going to get because Lily ain't really got a whole lot of sensitivity in her bone. That cartel killing her dad fucked her up. Like, she hard for real, for real. Not for play, for play. That's just what she is. So she tries to apologize to Charmaine. They kind of go back and forth over it. Yeah, eventually they shake. They get over it. It is what it is. Moving on from that. Lily and Bella thinking they finna go to some place to get some kind of fat frozen off their body. They so damn dumb. They went in there thinking that they was finna go get some session some session done and freeze the fat off their body. Thinking they finna come out just like snatched. And really the woman is telling them it takes a few weeks for them to even do that shit. I mean, it was cute. Mm, moving on. Ryan and Rachel show up. And as we all thought, Ryan was in his feelings because he did not get the room that he wanted. I just braced with her my motherfucking arm. He was upset because he did not get the room that he wanted. Of course, he went up in the room where he, that he wanted, which was Don's room. And Don had a big ass toenail on the floor. Don nasty. He looked like he he wanted niggas. He looked good. He looks. Don is a whole Debbie snack cake. He is. <laughs> But he looked like he could be a nasty nigga. I don't know. Like either his feet stink, his breath stink, his beard stink. Some, some is off about Don. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure of that. I'm so sure of that. Right. So um, whoop de whoop. Ryan and Rachel come. He end up giving his room over to Rachel. He's like, I don't give a fuck. As long as I got somewhere to shit, shower, and shave. I'm straight, which is what we all knew he was going to do anyway. But the audacity of Danielle and Charmaine, okay, first of all, Danielle, you weren't even invited to the trip, right? Charmaine brought your ass along. But for you to get so ballsy to just basically, Charmaine got her own room and you got your own room too, you ain't even a part of non Mag no more. And Charmaine invited you. If anything, you two bitches should have bunked up. But ain't no doggone way you should have got your own room. Uh, I'd have been in my feelings too had I been Ryan. Bitch, what? Which I'm sure they made their asses bunk up and Don got their room. That's what the hell should have happened. Bitch, you, girl, stop. Four and Ryan go to the radio station, yada, yada, yada. It was cute. They play four song, but moving on from that. So they back at the house and, um, oh my gosh. It's the scene where Charmaine and Danielle are crying, being dramatic. In my opinion, for no, it is not that serious, girl. Like, you make it seem like Nine Mag is the only thing that you've got going on for you in your life. Girl, you need to tie your ass back to WGCI, clock in some more hours, build your brand more off of that. Because this whole crying over Nine Mag, like, oh, we're not the family we used to be. I miss us hanging out. I miss us kicking it whatever after work i miss us doing this old shit okay you miss it but bitch m m motherfuckers gotta grow up okay they gotta grow up if you still stuck in the same old mentality and you still stuck in or you want to be stuck in the same mindset or or the same environment that you were in in the past that you weren't really growing from Men, there's something wrong with you. I'm sorry. You have to be okay with growth. And the fact that you're not okay with not being able to hang out no more, you're you're upset because there's two different shops like Charmaine. Girl, stop. I can't even get into that. They was crying. So they had dinner that night, right? And so um, Ryan ordered ahead, you know, ordered some food, big family style, buffet thing, mafioso type shit or whatever. So, shit is going good at the dinner, right? Everybody's talking about um, their their best experience at Nine Mag or their most memorable um, experience there. You know, Ryan is saying how you know he's he he hates that there was animosity that the way that there was, but there's two shops and it's all one family, and he's happy with his vibe. Everybody's happy with his vibe. Then Charmaine starts with the bullshit. I miss the old nine mag and I've really just been going through some things and yada, 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 yada. And like Ryan even tells her, 
you stuck in the past, you missing something that was built off of a bunch of bullshit. It was destined to fail from the get-go because it was built on a fucked up foundation. You miss being high and drinking and smoking and being crazy and ratchet all up in the shop? No. Like Ron said, I had to upgrade. I had to change shit for the better. This is for the business. And if you don't like that shit, you can walk. And guess who didn't like that shit and walked? Lily walked. Okay? Because Charmaine, you sitting up here doing all this crying, talking about, I just, I, I'm so uncomfortable and it's just not the same. And I'm sitting up here faking the funk. I'm just going day by day when really I just don't want to be here anymore. Okay, fine. What do you do there though? Besides walk around with a big old booty. What do you do? You don't tattoo. You don't pierce. You don't sketch nothing. You don't etch a sketch nothing. I ain't seen you answer no phone. I see you greet people when you come in. I mean, when they come in, but girl, what else are you bringing to the table besides a bunch of bullshit and boobs and booty? What are you bringing? What else are you bringing to the table? You ain't bringing nothing, nothing much else to the table. Ryan got pissed and Ryan snapped, which... That's what Ryan does. I like Ryan, but Ryan likes to throw a lot of hissy fits at times. And so that was his time to throw another hissy fit, which, eh, it is what it is. He gets pissed. He storms out and he leaves. Um, the episode pretty much ends with Danielle, Charmaine, and Don. They're all in Don's bathroom. They're flirting. It's friendly flirting, but it's flirting all the same. Okay. Charmaine is kind of touching him on his back, talking about, oh, Don, can we wax your back? We just want to wax this part right here. This is this part right here. Of course, Don is in there with, it looks like some briefs on. Maybe they were um, swimming shorts. I don't know. But the eggplant imprint was definitely awry. Um, and not, I mean, not only that, um, Don, you know who you married to. Ashley fucking crazy. She gonna kill you dead to the bed, my nigga. Back all the way up from Charmaine. Flag on a play. Pass interference. No can go. Get the hell away from Charmaine. Two steps to the left. No, no, no. Don't do that. Get your ass away from her, boy. Heed my word, okay? But that was pretty much the end of the episode right there, y'all. Let me know what y'all think about it. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. Ahala.